My name is Ian Collins. I work in BBC News Labs using the Juicer and Link Data to explore building tools for journalists and to explore telling stories using Link Data and semantic data. The Juicer is a tool from BBC News Labs for semantic news analysis. What does that mean? Well, it starts by taking content from BBC News Online, BBC World Service, and other sources, including The Telegraph, The Mirror, The Huffington Post. This content mostly takes the form of articles, but it can take the form of image metadata or video metadata. For example, for, for videos, we might use the subtitles, or even we might use speech-to-text translation to extract the transcript for the show. And then we take that content and we do our processing on it. So the processing part, that's the juicing. It uses a technique called NLP, which is natural language processing, to find entities, that is people, places, organizations, and other concepts within the text. We use a source called DBpedia, which is derived from Wikipedia. It's a machine readable form of that data. So these are articles within the juicer, and you can see here the people and places that have been tagged and extracted from this article. We use a source for entities for, that's derived from DBpedia. Uh, it in turn comes from Wikipedia. So entities that exist in Wikipedia, things that have a web page there, exist in DBpedia. That's about 65,000 different things, uh, people, places, organizations, and intangible concepts like love or war. Here we can see an article from the Metro has just come in about an octopus fighting a crab. Um, if, we, if we search for this in the juicer, um, we can filter to just find similar articles to that, crab and octopus. Um, we can find all these similar articles. We can also look at the people, places and organizations that co-occur. We store that format, that data that we've extracted, those, those list of tags, those list of concepts, in a couple of different ways. One is the triple store. It uses a format of subject, predicate, object. For example, Ian works at the BBC. Ian works for Matt. From that, you can infer that Matt works at the BBC. You can then look for co-occurrences between concepts. For example, you might look up Vladimir Putin and Ukraine and see what other people, places, and other intangible concepts appear. What are they linked to in the news? What are they talked about? The other format we use is for storing our data is Elasticsearch. Elasticsearch allows us to do complex queries, combining similar queries with multiple different uh, tags and to show us results for them over time, for example, how often those, those co-occurrences have occurred. Hopefully you found that a useful overview of the juicer and how you might be able to use it to do queries. Please check out the website for more information including documentation.